Senator Francis Tolentino sees no problem with the designation of new military sites and four strategic areas in the country. This as long as the parameters of the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement or EDCA will be followed. The EDCA was signed in 2014 which aimed to advance the implementation of the 1951 Mutual Defense Treaty. It allows the construction of facilities and pre-positioning of United States or U.S. military assets and selected military bases in the Philippines. However, it prohibits the U.S. to establish permanent military presence and military bases in the country. We cannot avoid being part of a geopolitical conflict because of our location. We cannot isolate ourselves as part of the community of nations because we're here, we're, we're, in, we're in the center of everything. But there has got to be some limits as to how we are going to be involved. Senator Cheese Escudero also supports the move, saying that this will help promote regional stability. Meanwhile, for Senator Jingoy Estrada, who chairs the Senate Committee on National Defense and Security, while the expansion of the agreement is seen as strengthening the alliance between the U.S. and the Philippines, he trusts that the government had carefully studied the possible implications of the EDCA expansion. For national security expert Dr. Romel Banlawi, while the move has short-term benefits, including military assistance and economic gains, it could have long-term costs to the country's security. According to Banlawi, the Philippines could be a target of attack of American adversaries, particularly China, especially when chaos erupts in neighboring countries such as Taiwan and Korean Peninsula and the South China Sea. I am very worried na yung cost natin ay would have far-reaching consequences. May mga discussions na... na monitor natin at kung saan ay nabanggit yung uh, apat na locations Cagayan, Isabela, uh, isa pa sa Palawan at sa Zambales. So makikita natin na uh, very close yan sa West Philippine Sea, very close yan sa Taiwan, very close yan sa Korean Peninsula. No, yung security risk na inaharap natin ay very high because uh, China will not allow uh, America to have uh, greater military advantage uh, in Asia and with the United States around, we will always be caught in the U.S.-China major power rivalry. So, talagang may ipit tayo ng uh, uh, dalawang bansa na to. Banlawi notes that it is important that the Marcos administration will observe a delicate balance in dealing with the two superpowers. He hopes that the government is ready with the potential consequences of the EDGA expansion. Maraming clarifications na dapat gawin ng ating pamahalaan kung bakit niya ginagawa ito. Dapat pinaghandaan din natin yung consequences na yan, lalo na kung sakasakaling magkaroon ng uh, uh, military problem, mas bigyan natin ng effort yung preventive diplomacy in order to prevent our region to be the avenue for any forms of military conflicts. Harleen Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.